how to use the Kirby Avalier Centria and basically any G series Kirby shampoo system. First things first, we need to vacuum the floors very, very well. So let's do that. Once you've vacuumed over all the spots on your carpet at least three times, nice and slowly, um, now's the time to start converting it to your shampoo system. Okay. Make sure you have the shampoo system that actually goes with your vacuum cleaner. So, just kind of showing you. This is the stuff that you do. Then take this off and you're done. You're ready for shampooing. Okay. Here's your attachment kit. Okay, here's everything in your attachment kit. Okay, so first of all, let's put on the floor head. Make sure the belt is looped and on. And you just pop that on. And then turn on your belt. Easy. Now you can put that on. Now let's go take our tank to the sink. There are lines on your tank. I'm doing a medium sized room, so you're gonna fill it up to this line with water. Not hot water. Do not put hot water in there. Okay. So you fill it up. Okay. Now that we're filled up, you have your cap in Kirby Shampoo. Sorry, this is brand new. Ooh, that's not easy to open, sorry. Okay, now there are two marks there. That means you fill this up twice. Sudden. Okay, now that your tank is filled up and ready to go, you want to go to the side of your machine and put it on there and click it in. Now this red end goes to the red cap and you just kind of push it on there. Sorry guys. It's a little hard to do. Okay, so sorry my flash is on. Put that on, and now you're ready to go. You're ready to start sudsing. All right, I already did it to test it out. So now what you're gonna do is pop it in drive. One, two, three, four. Put it down four, depending on your carpet height. And then turn it on, and we're gonna go in smooth, even strokes. Do it exactly like I do. So there's your line. Now, what you're gonna wanna do once you're done sudsing stuff, you turn it off and then you go back over it. thing 
is not lightweight, that's for sure. Sorry. Okay, so now you get the gist. So let me finish uh, soaping it up in here. And then after that, you let it sit. And I think it takes about two hours for it to dry. So I'll see you in two hours. Thank <laughs> you.